Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A beautiful autumn uh, colors in uh, probably nearby Orangeville where I live. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Micah 7 verse 2. It says, The godly people have all disappeared. Not one honest person is left on the earth. They are all murderers, setting traps even for their own brother. Here's my poem. The godly are rare. These days and age, righteous people are a novelty. Evil predominates and there's so much cruelty. Ma many wicked people set traps for their own brothers. It's a pity there are very few honest and godly people. Why would anyone want to turn their backs to God? Violence everywhere prevails. Good deed are gone. Turn your back on evil and confess to God and repent. It is never late to believe in the one only Son God has sent. Here's my essay. In the past, there were probably more honest people than in our current world. With the proliferation of evil, the godly are becoming a novelty. Even those who claim to be Christians sometimes find it hard to live their faith because of the demands of society and this corrupt world. I'm so glad that I moved to Canada to a very small town with a 30,000 population as compared to the 21 million population of the city area in the Philippines which is the world's biggest city population. In a dense population, there are very few opportunities to even connect to someone. Much crimes are almost like a normal occurrence. I find it so refreshing to find more righteous and honest people in a town rather than in a big city. Prayer. Lord, let me keep living in integrity so I can shine for you. Reflection. How can we change the world in our own small way? I think first thing that we need to do is um, to believe in the only God who can save us from sin and um, have a relationship with Him because it is important that we have a relationship with the one who is righteous. Um, when we become close to this God, the only God, we become more like Him. We would have a hunger to know Him more and to please Him and to uh, do in, uh, things that are honest and full of integrity. We, in that little decision, you might think it's little, but that's really a major decision because a lot of uh, people are more focused on the world rather than on the spiritual things that we cannot see. And so when we shift our focus on the world, there is so many things that we need to do. But when we shift our focus on the Lord, there is more, uh, more faith that we have to grow to. So growing your faith is one of the biggest things that you could change in your own small way because when you grow your faith you are actually being a light for everybody else so that people will understand and know the Lord so if if you do this you are going to be um, a few of the very few population of the righteous but it doesn't matter uh, majority is not really that important. What's important is are when you do that, are you going to be saved and have eternal life forever? Because if you uh, choose God, you will have that eternal life. And um, then the reward, that, that eternal life reward will be an offshoot of being, cho of choosing God and living a godly life. Thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for more artworks and photographs. Give yourself a wonderful day. God loves you so much.
and try to be righteous in his sight and godly. Thanks for watching again.